This time we're going to solve an equation of a circle and a line. So we're going to start off. I'm going to go backtrack over here to name the circle. And I have the circle with radius 5. And I pick a point x, y. x over and y up creates a right triangle. And so I can use Pythagoras here so I can see the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the legs, which are x and y. And so that gives me the equation of the circle, and I'm taking it over here. The equation of the line I'm using is at 45 degrees, where x equals y. doesn't matter if I have 1 and 1, 2 and 2, or 3 and 3. So the line will be y equals x. And we want to substitute it in here. So we square the y and we square the x. Now we're going to take and replace the y squared with the x squared. I have two x squares. Divide both sides by 2. So therefore take the square root of both sides. The length of x will be the square root of 25 over the square root of 2, which is 5 over the square root of 2. Let's go back over here. Now we want to find y. We're going to take this and put it in here. So y x squared will be 25 over 2. That's the same, and that's the same. Transpose this to the other side. The sign changes. I need a common denominator. Make it 2 times 2 makes it 50 over 2. 50 minus 25 is 25 over 2. Okay. Therefore, the length of y will be the square root of 25 over the square root of 2 which is 5 roots of 2. Okay, so let's back up over here. So this point will be 5 over the square root of 2 and 5 over the square root of 2. And if I go down here, they will both be negative. Negative and negative. Okay, so backtrack again. The line y equals x at 45. And the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Name the circle. All I'm using is Pythagoras' triple 345.